from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top story is the extension of the COVID-19 related emergency orders halfway through Parliament now. The House debated the resolution yesterday. The Senate should complete it before the current order expires at the end of this month. Prime Minister Minnis led that debate, telling the House the country is doing well enough for the American CDC to change our status by a level, but he outlined the reasons why we still have to have that order in place. That's where he and opposition leader Davis disagree. The question is, is there a state of emergency? If they're handling this matter, this pandemic so well, why do you need a state of emergency? You heard the praises that they say, how well they're doing. Why is it still necessary? Right? What is necessary, we agree, is to, do, is, is to, is to adapt the tools that are necessary for the purposes of the situation at hand. You don't need to suspend civil liberties for that. The Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition at one point got into a shouting match over bar openings. The Speaker had to intervene in that. Meantime, Health Minister Wells announcing that the country is well on the way to getting a vaccine in country. He says it'll be here very soon. His words, Prime Minister Minnis says the vaccine distribution will be one of the greatest logistical challenges the country has ever faced, and he announced that it will not be mandatory for persons to take it. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Latest corona numbers released by the Ministry of Health. 21 new confirmed cases, 11 of them on a charter boat operating in the capital. 19 of the new cases in the capital, the other two in Grand Bahama. The hospital numbers remain steady, 13 persons being treated, no one in the ICU. The death toll remains at 175. There's a warning from the executive director of the Bahamas Feeding Network. Philip Smith is telling the media there could be a major crisis on the way when the food program ends at the end of March. He's estimating that up to 100,000 persons are still going to need food help then. A 63-year-old Grand Bahama teacher pleads not guilty to a sex-related charge in court yesterday. Ronald Robertson released on bail. Another murder reported here in the capital. A young man identified by relatives as 21-year-old Lamar Moss died following a shooting incident in the Soldier Road area Tuesday night. Nine murders already for the year. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's IQ Weather Update, a service of insurance management. A frontal system is moving through the area. There is associated weather, some clouds, some sun, maybe a shower. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Winds and seas increasing behind the front. There's a high tide now. The next low around 2 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to low 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, U.S. President Biden continues to make moves to try and control the spread of the coronavirus in that country, including ramped up vaccinations. But the CDC is warning that it could be months before the country actually turns the corner on this. The spread continues in the U.S. and around the world. More than 100 million confirmed cases now. Close to a million persons have died, more than 400,000 of them in the U.S. Among the countries with big problems, Britain, which has now put new restrictions in place, and Portugal, where officials are reporting that hospitals are at the breaking point. World vaccinations continue. Tribune's gas tracker prices shelled three ninety one, rubles four oh one, SO four dollars and two cents per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. An update on college basketball player Kai Jones in the Tribune Sports today. And an update on the status of baseball player Jazz Chisholm. Things looking up for him. 
plenty on Buddy Heal. Big game for him in Orlando last night. Read the details. DeAndre Ayton continues his solid play for the Phoenix Suns. The Tribune Sports has the latest. And read about the Sixers' big win over the Lakers last night. Get the latest on the status of the Olympic Games also in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.